What's up guys, we're back for another trip. I'm super stoked for this one too. Um, today I'm up here with Jay and L from Greenwooded Outdoors. Their channel will be down in the description below. But uh, we are at the Crystal Lake Trailhead in the Uinta Mountains. And we are gonna head to like the Long Lake area, which is like, I think about two miles. I'll have to look when I get time. But we're super stoked, quite an interesting drive. Um, there was like cops coming up the road left and right and there was like some sort of accident so we thought we were getting pulled over you know, we weren't hearts are racing but hey we all came unscathed without a ticket so we're gonna get hiking and uh, it should be good it's about six o'clock right now so a little later but it's not too far of a hike and not too bad so we're super stoked <laughs> I didn't check in much on the trail. There we go. Um, we basically just hiked to North Fork Lake. We are on the um, northern end of the lake. There was a lot of bushwhacking. We didn't get here till about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, so that took a little longer than usual. Um, I had steak and potatoes for dinner. It's a really cool area. There's a lot of fish in the lake so i am looking forward to fishing tomorrow um i think i'll be able to slam with the fly rod and um, jay you know they're awesome tons of fun to hang out with around the fire a lot of cool stories a lot of a lot of cool personality so as you can tell i'm ready for bed um yeah it is once again 12 o'clock just like last week yeah i think the plan tomorrow is to just kind of hang out um, but I'll bring you guys back tomorrow morning. Um, I just didn't do a lot of filming on the way in this time. Um, but yeah, so like usual, probably just watch a video. I got some some of The Office on my phone, so definitely going to watch that. Um, super, super great day. Really happy to be out, as always. So, well, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. So we had a pretty good night. Um, I think J and L, they're still asleep right now. Um, and I'm just out taking some photos and stuff and just kind of looking around. There are a lot of fish jumping in this lake right now, which is really cool. They're also kind of spawning up the river right here, like they were last week in Granddaddy. So I'm excited for that. See if I can slam right here at the mouth. Um, yeah, we slept really good. Well, I slept really good as far as I know J and L did. Um, I got a little cold, which you know I'm kind of I'm getting excited for my quilt that's coming because of that um, you know fact right there. It was a little cold, but you know, I was fine. Um, yeah, I think today I'm probably just going to go back, get some breakfast, 
and then I brought the drone because I can have the drone out here so I'll probably get the drone out and fly it around and then uh, I'm gonna get to fishing because I'm seeing a ton of fish and I really want to catch a couple in here they don't look too big but uh, they still look like a lot of fun so yeah I'm gonna get some water go get some breakfast and then uh, go to that point basically so So I'm headed out to get some fish. Got the fly rod. And uh, we're just gonna go enjoy some wilderness awesomeness. If that makes any sense. Um, but they look like they are feeding right here by the mouth of this river. I uh, see, yeah, right there. So I'm gonna start here. I've got like a number 16 right there. Number 16, like green fly or something. I don't know all the names to the um, flies and whatnot, but it worked pretty good at Granddaddy, so I'm going to try that. See them kind of swimming through here, so I brought my GoPro, so hopefully that'll help me catch some action, and I know I'm not the best fly fisherman. This is honestly my second time, so hopefully I'll be able to learn and get some fish on, on hook, so... Let's get started. for about an hour now caught two which is really good they're super small like eight inches max um, I think I'm getting the hang of like this casting deal I'm getting a little better um, so that's awesome right now I'm using like a pink fly or something I don't know um, and they seem to be liking that a lot more um, up here in the Uinas the fish really like bright colors so keep that in mind if you're coming up here. Like Jake's lures, I love gold Jake's lures. I've used those before. And uh, this pink one's caught two of them so far. So it's pretty nice. Um, I don't know what we'll do the rest of the day. I may quit here in a second and just go back to camp to see what's going on. Oops. Um, but other than that, I'm just having a good time. The fish are still jumping, which is kind of insane. I've never seen them jump this late. Me personally, but... Good times. All 
Alrighty guys, so we're doing one of my favorite things, which is bushwhacking. Um, we're headed to Marjorie Lake right now. I'm gonna try some fishing and just hang out. I think I actually saw the lake just right down there. So, we're just trekking along. It's really not that far from um, North Fork Lake, or I think it's called Weir Lake actually. There's a couple names that we're getting on our GPS's, but um, yeah, we're gonna go try our hand at fishing for a little bit and then uh, probably head back. So a lot of the other lakes around here are kind of a lot farther. So we're just here to chill out, hang out, and have a good time. So not a lot of hiking today. So I'm hiking to the other end of Lake Marjorie. It's because the wind's um, coming in is like a cross breeze. So I'm going to cast with the wind. And there's a whole bunch of rocks down here. So I'm thinking that that'll be better for fishing anyways because a lot of these fish like to hide in the rocks and whatnot. So last couple, well I guess last week and this week, just a lot of wind and it's kind of messing up my fly fishing but here comes a dog what's up guys so we got back from uh, Marjorie Lake yeah Marjorie Lake and uh, it's about 3 30 right now um, it's a little cool outside it hasn't really warmed up much all day um, which is which hasn't been bad um, but we got done fishing we kind of had a little bit of lunch and some snacks. Um, but right now we're just going to take a little nap. Um, wait for evening to come. I'm going to head back out on the lake later today. Um, kind of like around 7.38. Because that's when I saw a lot of the good fish jumping. So I'm going to do that and also fly the drone. Because this is a cool area and I want to get some drone shots. So yeah. I'm just going to you know chill out. Kind of take a small nap. Maybe watch a short video or something like that. But... Um, J and L, they're also doing the same thing. So, yeah, I will pick this back up once I'm done. So, maybe about an hour or so. What's up, guys? So, um, woke up from our little nap siesta deal. Um, it's about five, uh, it's about six o'clock probably about now. Um, J and L, they're still just in the camp. So I decided to come out here and try fishing again. Um, listening to my camping playlist. If you guys want to uh, listen to my camping playlist, I'll put a link of my Spotify. It's on Spotify, so if you don't have it, I think you can access it if you don't have Spotify, but... It's really good, so you guys should go check it out. But anyways, just enjoying some tunes, enjoying a little bit of the great outdoorsness here. I'll fish for a little bit, then probably go back to camp, see what is uh, going on there, and then come back out again to catch the big ones on the other end of the lake. Um, as well as, I need to get the drone out. I know I keep saying it. I know I always do it. Um, I was going to do it this morning, but I didn't get around to it. So, but uh, as far as, like, this trip goes, this place is freaking awesome. Um, it's really close, which um, allows for more people to obviously come which is one of the cons. We've seen quite a few people here. Um, the Crystal Lake Trailhead system is like insanely busy in the Uinas. It's like, when you say the Uinas, I would be willing to bet that 90% of people have been here or they think that you're talking about the Crystal Lake Trailhead. I would highly recommend it. There's a lot of cool lakes. Checked off a few more on my list, which I'm happy about. Having a great time with JNL, they're awesome, amazing. 
little like purple fly. They seem to like the bright colors over here on this lake. But I talked to one fly fisherman that gave me like an elk hair tiny thing and he said he was catching quite a bit over at Lake Marjorie. So I'm just gonna stick with my bright colors over here and see what happens. I'm gonna get back to fly fishing, but good catch up, right? getting ready for bed well I'm ready for bed now but uh, it is once again 12 o'clock seems to be a pattern here um, it was a great great day a lot of fun got uh, four fish total not like super um, super successful as far as fishing but some really really good times J and L they're freaking they're so much fun to be around just a lot of great personality good times um, had some dinner uh, tonight just sat around the fire mostly and just talked about movies and stuff in the world and stuff like that you know usual fire camp talk so campfire talk yeah that makes more sense campfire talk so um, Tomorrow morning, we are hiking out. We got about, a th probably about like a three mile hike, two mile hike, something like that. So it shouldn't be too bad. We'll probably wake up a little earlier than we did today. I don't know, we'll see. I was up before those other guys, but which is fine. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna hit the hay. Took a nap today, not too tired. Luckily, it's a little warmer tonight because last night I got pretty cold. So, can't wait for that UGQ bandit to get here. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to hit the hay, try and relax. So, yeah, we will catch up in the morning. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I am getting packed up. At least some of the stuff, anyways. Um, good night of sleep. It was a little warmer, but... Around like 5 a.m. it got pretty cold. So, once again, I kind of slept cool. So, it wasn't bad though. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get packed up, or at least get really close to like fully packed. And then uh, we'll go from there. I just got all my stuff out here on my backcountry porch. Let's see if you can see it. So I usually place all my gear over there and then just bring it all out of the tent. That way I can, you know, kind of just keep it clean and know exactly where everything is and not just be packing stuff twice or three times. So I take it from the tent usually to there. And then I put it all in my bag. So that's kind of how I unpack, but not that that matters much. So, yeah, I'm just going to get to it.
So guys, we're back at the vehicles. Well, obviously, we're driving now. What an amazing trip. Cool area, great company. J and L from Greenwooded Outdoors are just so fun to be around. Their personality is awesome. Um, I'm gonna put a link to their channel down below. They will also be releasing their own video of this trip. So make sure and go check them out. They're just really cool uh, people to be around. Um, we're definitely gonna have to get out again and do another trip because it was just so fun. Um, great weekend, great lake, good fishing. Learned a lot about fly fishing, kind of dialed in my technique and uh, I'm ready for the next adventure. So if you guys liked what you saw, make sure and hit that subscribe button. I got more and more content coming out. I will definitely be headed out probably in the next two weeks. I've got plans already to go somewhere else, not backpacking this next week, but the following week. So make sure and stick around for that. Thanks so much guys for subscribing and all that you guys do on the channel as far as participation, and we'll catch you in the next video.